David Andrew Sinclair born CA 1969, is an Australian biologist and professor of genetics best known for his advocacy for resveratrol as an anti-aging dietary supplement and potential medication. <laughs> Early life David Andrew Sinclair was born in Australia around 1969, and he grew up in St Ives, New South Wales. His paternal grandmother had immigrated to Australia following the suppression of the Hungarian Uprising of 1956, and his father changed the family name from Sigeti to Sinclair. Education and career Sinclair obtained a Bachelor of Science at the University of New South Wales, Sydney, and received the Australian Commonwealth Prize. In 1995, he received a PhD in molecular genetics from the same school, focusing on gene regulation in yeast. In 1993, he met Leonard P. Guarant, a Massachusetts Institute of Technology professor who studied genes involved in the regulation of aging, when Guarant was on a lecture tour in Australia, and the meeting spurred Sinclair to apply for a post-doc position in Guarant's lab. Earlier that year Cynthia Kenyon's lab at UCSF had discovered that a single gene mutation in DAV2 could double the lifespan of C. elegans. In 1999, Sinclair was hired at Harvard Medical School. In 2003, his lab was small and struggling for funding. In 2004, Sinclair met with the philanthropist Paul F. Glenn who donated $5 million to Harvard to establish the Paul F. Glenn Laboratories for the Biological Mechanisms of Aging at Harvard, of which Sinclair became the founding director. He currently serves as the co director with Bruce Yankner. In 2004, Sinclair, along with serial entrepreneur Andrew Perlman, Christoph Westphal, Richard Aldrich, Richard Pops, and Paul Schimmel, founded Sertris Pharmaceuticals. Sertris was focused on developing Sinclair's research into activators of sirtuins, work that began in the Guarant lab. The company was specifically focused on resveratrol formulations and derivatives as activators of the SIRT1 enzyme. Sinclair became known for making statements about resveratrol like, it's as close to a miraculous molecule as you can find. 100 years from now, people will maybe be taking these molecules on a daily basis to prevent heart disease, stroke, and cancer. Most of the anti-aging field was more cautious, especially with regard to what else resveratrol might do in the body and its lack of bioavailability. The company's initial product was called SRT501, and was a formulation of resveratrol. Sertris went public in 2007 and was subsequently purchased and made a subsidiary of GlaxoSmithKline in 2008 for $720 million. In 2006, Genesia Biosciences was founded based on work of Harvard scientist Darren E. Higgins around antigens that stimulate T cells cells and the use of these antigens to create vaccines. Sinclair was a co-founder. In 2008, Sinclair was promoted to tenured professor at Harvard Medical School. He also became a professor at the University of New South Wales. In 2008, Sinclair joined the Scientific Advisory Board of Shackley and helped them devise and introduce a product containing resveratrol called Vivix. After the Wall Street Journal requested an interview about his work with the company and its marketing, he disputed the use of his name and words to promote the supplement, and resigned. In 2011, Sinclair was a co founder of Overscience with Michelle Dipp, who had been involved with Sertris, Aldrich, Westphal, and Jonathan Tilly, based on scientific work done by Tilly concerning mammalian ugonial stem cells and work on mitochondria by Sinclair. 
Tilly's work was controversial, with some groups unable to replicate it. In 2011, Sinclair was also a co founder of Cobar, along with Nir Barzillai and other colleagues. Cobar aimed to discover and develop novel peptides derived from mitochondria. In 2015, Sinclair described to the scientist his efforts to get funding for his lab, how his lab grew to around 20 people, shrunk back down to about five, and then grew again as he brought in funding from philanthropic organizations and companies, including companies that he helped to start. As of 2015, his lab had 22 people and was supported by one RO1 grant and was 75% funded by non-federal funds. In 2018, Sinclair was made an Officer of the Order of Australia for Distinguished Service to Medical Research into the Biology of Aging and Lifespan Extension, as a geneticist and academic, to biosecurity initiatives, and as an advocate for the study of science. Research While Sinclair was in Guarent's lab, he discovered that Sirtone 1 called Sir 2 in yeast slows aging in yeast by reducing the accumulation of extrachromosomal rDNA circles. Others working in the lab at the time identified NAD as an essential cofactor for Sirtone function. In 2002, after he had left for Harvard, he clashed with Guarant at a scientific meeting at Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, challenging Garant's description of how Sir II might be involved in aging. This set off a scientific rivalry. In 2003, when his lab was still small, Sinclair learned that scientists at a Pennsylvania biotech company called Biomol Research Laboratories discovered that polyphenols include resveratrol could activate SIR2, and he collaborated with them to confirm this. This led to publications authored in part by Sinclair in both Nature and Science in 2003. Sinclair's outspoken advocacy for resveratrol as an anti-aging compound started a scientific controversy over whether this was true, and whether resveratrol even activated sirtuins. Work in another lab, done partially funding from Sertris, found increases in the number of mitochondria in the cells of mice given high doses of resveratrol. Sinclair's lab continued to work on resveratrol and analogues of it, as well as on mitochondria and NAD, all directed to understanding aging and how to prevent it. 